Hi, this is Kay from IK Jewelry Party, and this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to crop your bottle cap images. Sometimes you don't want to print all 15 images that are on a sheet. Sometimes you want to make a mix of different images from different sheets, and it's pretty easy to do that using Microsoft Word. So we're going to go through some quick steps to help you get started on that. I already have Microsoft Word open, and I'm working with an 8.5 by 11 size page paper. We're going to eventually reduce this to the 4x6, but it's a lot easier to do your cropping and your inserting of the pictures when you're still at the 85 by 11 So we're going to start there. I'm just going to insert, click on picture, open my bottle cap folder, and I'm going to insert one picture, and I'm just going to click out here so I've got one picture in so far, and first, before I go on to the next picture, I just want to make sure that my images are being inserted at 4x6 so that my circles will print the right size. So I'm just going to right click, I'm going to go down to size, and I'm going to look and make sure up top here it says 4x6, which it does, so that one's good. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert another picture. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click, click on size, and I'm going to make sure this is 4 by 6 so my image is the right size. Okay. Now while you have this frame, you're going to be able to use the format for the pictures. This is, we're going to crop this, so just click on crop. And if you haven't used the crop feature before, it's just a click and drag option. So you click on one of these black little arrows and then you just drag. The corner ones are going to let you do two sides at once and then you also have these on the side where you can do one at one time. And I'm going to go ahead and move this in so I have the sister image. And I just want to print one of those, so I'm going to go that way. And then I'm going to bring this down. And when you crop, if you go too far, you don't have to worry about it because you can just click and drag that back out until you have it to the right spot. Okay, and I'm going to scoot that a little bit further just in case because I don't want to cut off my circle. So it's okay if you have a little extra from the other circles there. We're just going to scroll up. And then I want to do a whole row of these soccer balls. So I'm going to go ahead and crop from the bottom up and I'm going to give myself a whole row of those. <clears throat> Even if you're at this point you can still always add in another one. We're just going to go to insert picture and then I'm going to pick one more. I'm going to double check the size real quick. It's 4 by 6 so that's okay. And then I'm going to click on crop So there. And you notice when you are not on one of the pictures, when you click out in the white space, you don't have the picture toolbar up top. Just click on one of them and it should open. If you don't see the full picture one here, click on the picture tools up top. So, but it's showing up now, so that's good. Okay. So now that I have these, I still want to print them as paper, so I'm going to go ahead and do some changes in the page layout. So I'm going to click on that tab, and the first thing I'm going to do is go to the margins. And I want to go down to custom margins, and I want to put zero for the margins. Otherwise, it's just going to move my images around from the edges, and I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to put zero for all of the margins, and I'm going to click OK. And most likely you're going to get this little pop-up that says one or more of the margins is outside the printable area. Just click ignore because that doesn't matter. You're not printing to the edge, so it's fine. So when you get that, click ignore. And that just moved everything around, but we still want to change our page size. So we're going to click on size. And go down to 4 by 6 inch. 
and it's still not going the direction we want it to, so I'm going to go to Orientation, and I'm going to click on Landscape. And now you should have everything on your 4x6 paper. And let's see. That's in there. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm just going to move my arrow key over so I can get my cursor there, and I can space that in a little bit so it's not so close to the side. And then I'm ready to print, so I'm just going to go to print. If you don't have the icon up there, it's also right over here. I'm going to go to properties and make sure everything's selected the way I want. And I'm going to go to best. I want to select my photo paper. And I want to make sure it prints borderless. And then click OK. And then you just click OK and you're good to print. So I'm going to close this out without printing. Because uh, if you've watched any of my other tutorials, I'm trying to conserve my ink. But that's all it takes. It's pretty quick and easy, and it saves you from having to print 15 different images on one page when you only want one. So this way you can pick and choose the ones you want without having to print everything all at one time. And that's it.